Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Um, this is the first tutorial um, in our YouTube channel. Um, apologies for my English, it's not my first language, so I will try to speak slow and I hope you understand what I'm saying. If not, please don't hesitate um, to comment and I will try and um, answer each and every one of you. Um, so basically, we're going to do a very simple pendant and filigree and I'm going to use um, as much as um, minimalistic tools as possible. So if you're just starting out, um, we're going to use very basic tools um, uh, to craft our pendant and I will explain um, a bit about every tool. So um, let's start with the silver. So the first uh, thing we're going to need is square wire, sterling silver square wire. Um, and this is five centimeters here. Okay, so very basic square sterling silver wire We're gonna need jump rings two jump rings if you have um, a square wire you can use um, Square wire to do your jump rings um, just put them around the vendor. That's it. Okay So two jump rings, okay one which will be soldered on top here Okay for the bale, the, sorry, the loop, and one will be the bale, the larger one will be the bale, okay? So we'll put that inside and we'll solder it in the end. The next thing you'll need in silver is fine silver wire, okay? So this is, this is um, filigree wire, we call it Ritzol in Maltese, okay? And so basically each, it's composed of two twisted wires together and flattened and each wire is 0 0.3 of a millimeter thick okay so you have two wires of 0 0.3 millimeter of thickness they are twisted together and then flattened okay so when doing filigree wire it is very important that the twists are very compact together okay so you twist it will break you will heat it again okay um, and then you will twist more and more and more and then you have to end up something like this okay that's how it should look now we need solder okay so what i use is um, obviously powdered solder so this is i put an ingot and then i file it down okay so in here i have powdered dry um, dry um, solder with borax it's, it's dry as you can see Okay, so what this tool does is I mix the borax and the solder inside, okay? And then I will wet my piece and I will use the tweezers to go on these ribs here and it will start to sprinkle um, solder with borax on top of the piece that I want to solder. Here I have the same uh, mixture, which is um, solder and borax, but I put water in the mixture, it's like a paste, okay? And then like that I can grab some solder with my tweezers and I apply it for example on the loop so that is ready as well we will cover that so the first thing we'll need is a very expensive mandrel <laughs> this is just a simple piece of um, steel rod it's around seven millimeters it can vary a bit in thickness don't worry so we have like eight or nine it will be depend it will be a bit fatter <laughs> or thinner um, but then we can arrange it with the tweezers or pliers okay this one will use um, so we can uh, make the shape of the outer um, pendant outer wire and um, we'll use this one to twist it around okay so these are large snips and then we we use these to snip the large um, square wire and these are small snips and we use this to cut the excess of the filigree wire. You may need some flat nosed um, pliers and this to arrange um, the pendant when we're working. Okay. The most important piece, AA stainless steel tweezer. Now these have to be prepared. When you're buying them, they are pointy. You need to grind at an angle of 45 degrees okay so when you're working with filigree they are comfortable to work with and you can grab to the filigree wire apologies <laughs> so for soldering we're gonna need a honeycomb okay you can buy these online 
I have um, properly good torches that I use, okay, but for this video I'm gonna keep it minimalistic and I'm gonna use a simple kitchen torch, okay? You can buy these, these are refillable, you have to refill them quite often, but um, if you're starting out, for filigree especially, they emit a good flame and you can control it, but it's a bit too powerful sometimes, so watch out you don't melt your piece, okay? Water, we'll use this um, for the filigree for soldering, and then here I have a silver cup, Okay, you don't have to have made it in sterling silver. You can use um, copper or you can use um, uh, pyrex. Um, uh, and this is my pickle. Okay, so in here I have um, citric acid, so water and a few drops of citric acid and I will warm it up with my burner. If you're using pyrex, the glass, um, you have to use a hot plate. Okay, not too hot and make sure it's full or else it will break. And basically we've covered everything apart from this. So this is just a piece of perspex, okay, acrylic. You can use um, a tile, um, a piece of tile with marble, as long as the color it suits your eye to work on, it should be good, okay, nothing expensive. So now I'll clean this up and we'll start the tutorial how to craft our pendant. The last thing I wanted to mention, because I forgot, was this um, tool, it's called a burnisher. And what basically does, um, it's um, a polished piece of um, hardened steel. And the metallurgy, um, the law states that if you rub two metals together and they're of different hardness, the softer material will copy the texture of the harder material, okay? So in this case, we're gonna rub this against the silver and we're gonna, it's gonna polish the surface of the silver, okay? Because obviously you can use a tumbler um, if you have one, but if not, um, this is a very basic and very cheap tool, and you can polish um, filigree to a very good shine with it. This is the original way how, in the old days, they used to um, polish um, filigree with. So, let's start with the pendant. So we're gonna um, get the square wire, and we're gonna to do it against the mandrel, okay? Very simple. Make sure you have equal sizing, okay? So that's how it's gonna look. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze it a bit with my tweezers, okay? And make sure that both sides here, they are touching. So, I'm gonna grab my honeycomb. I'm gonna grab my solder, the borax. Just a tiny bit. Okay. So, make sure that on the underneath you have something that won't damage your bench. Don't put acrylic on because it will melt because of the heat because the honeycomb won't stop all the heat from going down, okay? I'm gonna grab my torch, I'm gonna solder it. Now, if you, because I forgot to mention, if you have a pick, soldering pick, like this, okay? You can use that, if not, a good pair of soldering tweezers, okay? Quench it in water. And that's the first step ready, okay? Now, we put this aside and we start with the filigree. So now we have our acrylic piece, we have our filigree wire. I'm gonna straighten it out first. And I can feel that it's already work hardened. So what I need to do is to soften it, okay? So I'm gonna anneal it. I'm gonna put it in a small coil like this, okay? And by anneal annealing, I mean that this, uh, you see, it's, it's springing. 
Um, what happens is that the molecules inside they get crystallized, and they get hard, okay, hardened, and they will spring back. Um, with the flame, when we anneal it, it's softened, and the, the molecules are spreading apart again, and the matter relaxes. Okay, so it would be much easier to so to to work with the tweezers with it. Now, when um, uh, annealing um, fine wire like this, which is very um, thin, make sure you control the flame. Um, because it's very easy to melt. So start from a distance and work yourself um, a bit closer. That's more than enough, okay? Now, the best thing to do if you had a larger piece of wire was to coil it very tightly together and then with steel wire you would wrap it around um, so all pieces um, are equal in, in uh, thickness. So when you um, start um, annealing, um, you can anneal it all together, so you won't melt part of your um, wire, okay? But in this case, because it was a very small piece, okay, I could do it like that. Now, this is the exciting part of filigree. In filigree, when you're starting out, um, every piece we start from this, and we call this the eye line in Maltese. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is it's just a very simple look. Okay. Just like that. Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay. So I'm gonna start doing it. Okay, I'm turning it into circles just a bit. Okay, just like that. Now I did that to gain some thickness because I'm because I'm calculating that each loop space or else it would be too thin and it would be wobbly so I'm calculating the space so now okay I'm gonna start doing like this okay the important thing is each one will have the same spacing if not, it won't look nice, okay? Now, filigree takes quite some time to, to learn, but it's not an impossible technique. It's a beautiful Asian technique. And it's a pity that very few people are left to do it. But once you get the hang of it, it will be easier, okay? Let's see how we are. And that looks great. So now we take our mini tweezers, okay? And I'm gonna cut the extra. This is fine silver, so don't throw it away, obviously. I keep them away in a, in a special bag. And then, once I have enough, I melt it back down and redo my wire from scratch. So now, gently, I squeeze, squeeze, okay, like this with the tweezers. So I'm giving it a shape. If it's work hardened again, you can anneal it. So now I annealed it. And now the tricky part is putting it into place. Okay, so all good. Make sure it's well seated and you have your free degree inside. Now don't worry, it's not as easy as it looks sometimes, but it's not as hard as you might think either. So with a bit of patience. Can do this now. 
grab our water, tap your finger. And the reason we're doing this is because we're gonna sprinkle solder mixed with borax, the dry one, okay? Now if you don't have this tool, it's okay. You can just, you know, grab a jar like this, fill it with solder and sprinkle a little bit on it, don't worry. The important thing is that you don't put too much solder because if you put too much solder, you will lose the details of the filigree, okay? So this is how it works. Put it on the block and now it's time to solder it. So, that piece is ready. Now, I quench it in water so I can grab it with my hand. And the next step is going to be soldering the loop. Okay? So I have my small loop here. Okay? Perfect grip is there. Now you'll notice. When you have your jump ring, you have a split, that's where you cut it. We put them together, now we put the side of the split where we're gonna solder it. So with the solder, we cover both joints, okay? I have my solder paste, just a little bit here. Okay, now, when soldering, especially when you have a, such, a, such a small jump ring, okay? First you heat the big part, because solder um, travels towards um, heat. But the thing is, if you start heating the jump ring, it will melt. So first you heat um, the pendant, then you move the flame towards the jump ring. Now, it's taking shape. Now the last piece. I'm gonna grab my flat pliers. If you have the parallel pliers, they're even better. But if you're just starting out, you can use flat pliers, okay? I open the ring. So what I'm gonna do is kind of play it like that. I'm gonna put some solder on the ring. Now, when soldering this, don't go in straight in with the flame. First, keep the flame at a distance because the borax will expand. If you go too close, too fast with the flame, there is a high chance that the solder will just fall off. Okay. Now the next step is to sand a bit the edges to remove the excess solder, okay? I forgot to mention that we need some sandpaper, okay? So you can use 400-500 grit, okay? And I'm gonna go straight ahead. Now what I did here was a piece of wood and I wrapped sandpaper around it with tape.
I'll fast forward and I'll show you how it's done when it's ready when it's ended. So after sanding, it should do something like this. Now this is not even pickled yet or polished, okay? So the next step is I have my water with um, citric acid and I'm gonna put this inside and I'm gonna heat it up, okay? And I will show you the end result. Now after pickling, your piece should look like this, very white, not polished yet, okay? So don't worry about it. So I got a piece of wood. If you don't have, you can do it directly on the bench, no problem about it. I'm doing it for the camera, a bit elevated. So I'm gonna grab my burnisher. I'm gonna hold my piece. I'm gonna start. You can see the result immediately. I'm gonna show you a bit the difference. Let me see if I can focus. So I'm doing is I'm rubbing. You can see it become polished. So I'm gonna finish all this going like this, and I'm gonna show you the end result in the end. Okay. So. If you manage to get this far, <laughs> well done and congratulations. You managed to do your first Felicre piece. It's a very basic, basic um, beginner um, pendant, but it has all the essentials in soldering, and pickling and uh, doing the filigree. So it has everything, even though it's just a small pendant. Um, I will hopefully put more videos out. Um, this will be for free. Because I want that filigree is not forgotten, but um, new pe um, people have interest in it. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Um, if you want to send me pictures of your finished work, just go ahead. I would be really happy to see your finished work. And if you have questions about filigree, anything you would like to know, just don't hesitate and contact me. I'll do my best, okay? I'm just one guy, so <laughs> please bear, bear with me. Thank you and hope you enjoyed it. So have a nice day. Thank you.